In this week's video, I'm going to show you how we can use the JavaScript picture in picture API. So now instead of me trying to explain to you what this API is and what are some of the cool things that we can do with it, let me rather show you. So here on screen right now, you can see that I've got a video chat application working. And now basically what's going to happen is here on the sort of first tab here, I've got my Twitter feed. Now the problem is that as I navigate on over to this tab here, while I'm still actually in a video chat with somebody, and of course in this case it's myself, but conceptually I would be in a video chat with somebody else, the problem is now I might be able to hear them, but I can't actually see them because I'm now in a different tab than where the actual chat is taking place. But if we go back on over to the actual video chat tab, you can see that we've got this button that says request picture in picture. Now clicking that actually takes the video that used to be in this actual video tag right over here and kind of pops it out into this sort of smaller video tag that we've got right over here on the bottom right hand side of my screen. Now what's now really cool about this is if I head on back to my Twitter feed, you can now see that my friend's face kind of came along with me. So now I'm on my Twitter feed, but I can still see the face of my friend who it is I'm having the video chat with. And this is all due to the fact that we can use the JavaScript picture in picture API. And in this week's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use this. So let's get into it. Woo! If you'd like to follow along with me, you can find these startup files down in the description box below. And as it turns out, the starting files for this video are really nothing more than the final code for a video that I did a few months back where I demonstrated how to build a WebRTC video chat. Now, if you actually missed that video, you'll find a link to it down in the description box as well. So once you actually have the files downloaded or cloned onto your machine, let's go ahead and open that up in VS Code. So I've already got my VS Code open. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go into the client folder. We're going to want to go into the source folder down to routes. And then we're going to go to the room.js file. This is where we are going to be making our code changes to the existing video chat application. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to go on down all the way to our return statement where we're actually building up our JSX and we're simply going to go ahead and add this button here. This is simply a button that's going to have an on click event and then this on click event is going to go ahead and reference the function called request picture in picture which is of course not defined yet so I'm going to go ahead and define that now. So here you can now see I've actually got this request picture in picture function defined and then all that I'm doing within this function is I'm basically calling upon the partner video ref and I'm calling upon the request picture in picture method. So this request uh, picture in picture method is really all it takes to kind of ask a video tag to pop out into the sort of smaller floating video tag. Now, the thing is, this method really only lives on the underlying HTML element. Here on line 129, when I'm actually defining this video tag, it's really more of a JSX video tag and it's not really so much the actual real HTML video tag. And so now the problem is on this HTML video tag, I can't actually go ahead and call upon the request uh, picture in picture method. Therefore, I'm actually having to use a ref. And now, if you're not actually familiar with refs and if what I just said makes no sense, I've actually got a video down in the description box below, which will actually help you understand the concept of refs a little bit more but basically all it really takes to kind of make the video pop out into its own separate little floating video tag is to simply call upon the underlying dom node which in this case is going to be that video tag and then call upon this request picture and picture uh, method which is given to us by the browser so now the last thing that we want to do is kind of have the uh, video tag the sort of smaller floating video tag get restored back to the normal video tag in an instance where the actual user comes back to the tab so for example let's imagine that you know the user is in the middle of the video chat they went off to twitter they've got the little floating uh, video tag but now as they kind of return to the tab where the video chat is kind of taking place, I want to undo this picture in picture and kind of restore it back to the regular frame. So I'm going to write the code to make that happen now. So here in this use effect, all I'm really doing is I'm basically attaching an event listener to the document. I'm telling it to listen out for the visibility change event. Essentially, the way that the visibility change event works is when you kind of leave your tab to go to a different tab, that's basically now going to go ahead and fire off this particular event and set the visibility state to something which I can't remember what it is, but it's going to be something that is not visible. I forgot what the actual word is going to be. But then when the user kind of returns back to this tab and then once again makes this kind of the focus tab the tab that you're currently working on now the event will once again fire but this time the visibility state will actually be called visible it's going to be set to visible and so now we can actually have the simple if check here we can say if the visibility state of the document is currently set to visible in which case now let's come on into this if check here and then let's check to see if there's anything in the document right now that is in picture in picture mode because only if something is currently in picture in picture mode do we want to ask the document to kind of exit picture in picture so here we're basically saying if the document picture in picture element is something currently in picture in picture if it is then go ahead and call document that exit picture in picture one of the things that i should also point out is initially my thought process was to kind of have it where if i leave the tab the browser should automatically take the uh, video tag and pop it out into picture in picture mode instead of me having to request it by pressing the button it turns out that the browser doesn't like that it actually wants the uh, picture in picture to be enabled by a user gesture that means it has to happen by some sort of interaction from the user which is why i actually had to add that button uh, at the bottom to request the picture in picture to set yourself back into normal mode you can do that automatically once the browser detects that the current tab is now the active tab in other words when the visibility state gets set back to visible that you can do automatically without the actual need of a user interaction now believe it or not that's literally all the code that it takes to make this feature work so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fire up the application and see whether or not it does in fact work 
So to start up this application, you want to make sure that you have two terminals open. One is going to be open to the root of the application, and then the other one is going to be open to just the same exact folder, only now one level deeper into the client folder. In both terminals, you want to make sure that you actually install the dependencies. So you can do that by simply running the command yarn or npmi, depending on whether you choose yarn or npm. And then in the terminal that's open in the root, you're simply going to want, want to run the command in node server.js. And then in the, in the terminal that's open to the client folder, you're going to want to simply run the command yarn start. So now once the application is up and running, you're going to go on over to localhost 3000 where you're going to be met with this button that says create room go ahead and click on that this now generates room so now we're in a video chat room essentially so we can go ahead and grab this url that we have here open this up in another tab and then that basically completes the connection and we now we actually have a video chat working so now let's go ahead and click on this request picture and picture button and so as you can see we now have this little pop out this little floating window guy here and if i go on over to my twitter feed you can see that this little floating guy actually came along with me but then crucially when i actually go back to the video chat you can see that we leave picture in picture mode and now we're back into a regular video chat application and anyways, that does it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll be back next week with another video. Woo!